and uh, drop my stream entirely that's going on. So, it, I don't know if it's something actually in the game itself that XSplit doesn't like, or what, but yeah. And I'm going to share that uh, part that you were talking about, the bottomless pit right here. <laughs> it's... Crazy Easter eggs. <laughs> <laughs> There's also another message if you can beat the helicopter without getting hit. She she makes a Metal Gear Solid reference. Oh. Nice! I love Metal Gear. <laughs> yeah, me too. Especially the first one. Oh yeah, uh, and I like the uh, remake on uh, GameCube, the Twin Snakes one. Yeah, oh, it, lots it was of really fun. like... It was really hardcore with the cutscenes. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> All Metal Gear games are. Like, even the new Metal Gear Rising. Yep. It's like... Oh, it's like maybe... 10 or 5 hours, and half of that is cutscenes, so... Totally. <laughs> uh, uh. Have you have you beat it? Uh, no, I've only uh, talked to some people that have played it, so... Yeah. Okay, I won't I've... spoil anything. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, have you already played it? Yeah, it's like, I don't I don't get to play games that much, but as uh -huh. soon as that game came out, I just played it and bought it and beat it. Very so. nice. I've been, um... I think the next game I'm getting is probably... Ah! Oh, oh close. Geez. Oh, I almost had it! Okay. Oh! Oh. Right into his face. <laughs> <sighs> How long did it take you to uh, beat Metal Gear Rising? Uh, it was like... The game clock told me it took me like three and a half hours. But oh, it was like... Oh man, that's short as hell. Oh yeah. But it was like... The, the real time for cutscenes is probably like six or seven, I guess. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's why I heard cutscenes are long. Yeah. But then again, it's Metal Gear Solid, what do you expect? Yep, it's a Metal yeah, Gear game. Number one took like, like one or two hours. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I kind of want to play it again right now, but I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, it's over. Yes. So, did you, um, did you have any games in mind when you uh, made this that you were, like, basing it off of or anything? Uh, I guess, like, Mega Man. Everyone oh, loves Mega Man, right? Exactly. Yeah, I love Mega Man. <laughs> um, hey, Capcom but doesn't love Mega Man. <laughs> I know, where's Mega Man 11? <laughs> um, yeah, just like that, and kind of like Ikaruga. I'd oh, start. wow! I like your taste in games already. <laughs> well, thank you, sir. Yeah, just like, because, you know, the crazy bullet hell, like that. Oh, I'm definitely, I love me some genre. bullet hell shooters. Yeah. Do you play Toho? Or have you played Toho? No, I haven't. Yeah, oh, you definitely hard. should play Toho sometime. It's a lot of fun. They're really hard. Uh, they're Japanese bullet hells. Wow, I was not expecting that. I've never played this stage, <laughs> so that just took me by complete surprise. Uh, is Toho... Is this called T-O-U-H-O-U? Yes. Okay, I think I've heard of it. I've it's, played it though. it's really good. There are some really good bullet hell games. There's uh, actually a few on uh, Xbox Live that you might want to check out. They're pretty nice. Not Toho, but there's a few uh, bullet hell shooters that are really fun. Do you have any record? I know Sign Mora, and that's like the only one. Sign Mora is fantastic. That's another good game. Cool. Wow. I've actually played it. I am really, really bad at this stage already. Okay, I need to. <laughs> I need to concentrate for a second. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna get this. All right, I'm gonna get that that so i have to keep an eye on these and also watch the drill bits for when they yep. yeah so otherwise you're gonna get burned again yep <laughs> oh 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 that was a close one yeah it was oh oh ah i got hit oh oh god well i need to... okay oh. <laughs> yes oh, um oh well nice. I guess I'm falling now. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, this is... I really like this stage already. Cool. Have you never been down here? No, I haven't. I've actually never played past the first stage because I just did it for testing purposes and everything. Cool. Uh, do you like... Uh, well, you were saying you like Capcom games and everything. Do you like uh, Double May Cry? And did you think of that any when you were making this? Yeah, totally. Because, like, the style gauge and all that. Oh yeah, definitely. Totally... Right. Uh... Yeah, Devil May Cry and, like, Bayonetta, those kinds of games. Ah, oh, another Bayonetta love. fan. Yeah. Who's not a Bayonetta fan? <laughs> is, someone, is someone here not a Bayonetta fan? I've actually never played it yet. Never GP played, played it. the demo, and he hated it. So, oh, like, no, I told no, him no, not to play the demo. 
Huh. Because, like, the rest of the game is fantastic. The demo gives you, like, the really short, like, part that's not even really the game. There I go, getting distracted again. But it's okay. <laughs> we like to, to chat up a bit with uh, people when we're on, when we're streaming, so. <laughs> and I get easily Jesus distracted. Excuses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Suka needs excuses for his deaths. Oh, come on. <laughs> I had a friend who didn't realize that you could shoot those rocks, and he thought you just had to try and like dodge through it. And he got really angry, and he told me it was impossible. <laughs> wow, that would but yet I just dodged though. through it. <laughs> Did you <Yep>. see that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't even see that thing coming up after me. Yeah, those are only in hard mode because they were kind of cheap. Yeah, so, like when you're just starting to play. <laughs> Oh, so, uh, there's enemy, uh, variations for different modes also. I like that. Very nice. Yes. Yeah, like the helicopter in the first part. If uh -huh. you're not playing on hard, it, it, it won't, like, shoot the minigun at you. Oh, wow. I... Stuff like I that. really like little touches like that. Cool. Glad you appreciate it. It's fucking... Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Blondie wants to know why you aren't raging like normal, Suka. Well, because I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to respect the, uh, the, the Delvel for being in here. I don't want to rage as much in this game. You can, you can let it loose, man. Alright, well then in that case, fucking rocks are just pissing me off! And especially these little, like, shit creatures. I don't want to, I don't want to backseat game or anything, but if you slow it down, it's easier to shoot the rocks. You know what? I wasn't even thinking about that. <laughs> oh. One of the main aspects. <laughs> Just gotta fucking avoid these rocks here. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Oh! Up! Okay. Fuck! <laughs> 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 uh, 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 uh. I'm just like... Sorry. It's alright. <laughs> I'm like a, a couple seconds behind the stream. Yeah, I'm this. Really excited. This you're almost gonna make it. I know. I hear you scream and yell. And yeah. you're like, oh, he All doesn't time, make man. it. <laughs> yeah. That's that's the one problem with streaming, actually. Uh, every time I have, uh, well, every time it's either me or GP or whatever is streaming, whoever's in here with us hears if we fail beforehand. So it's like, oh, <laughs> it kind of ruins the fun for them. Gosh, or maybe just makes them anticipate it even more. And yeah, let's see what. See how I face. fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I think this level actually might be a little too hard for the second level. This level's like, very hard for the second on. level. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, then again, you're playing on hard, so it should be hard, maybe. Yeah. Oh, definitely. I like uh, I like the difficulty in this too. It's quite nice. I'm one of those people that even if I am failing at something, I'm still gonna play on the harder difficulties. <laughs> Yeah, he enjoys torturing himself. I really do. It's fun. <laughs> How many difficulties are there? Katie, you two asks. There's four. This is the second hardest difficulty. Ah, I need my time freeze back. And yeah, now that I think about it, the the time freeze aspect is very bayonetta callbacky. I like it. Yes. I wasn't even it thinking was... about that when I first played this, I was like, eh, hmm. it's just neat. <laughs> Originally, it was going to be like, you'd have to dodge things, and when you dodge them, you'd like become more powerful, like it was really ripping off Bayonetta, but <laughs> it wasn't It was fun in a side-scroller, so. Ah, there we go, I finally made it past that screen. Woo! Woo! Oh, oh, okay. I'm just gonna avoid that. Oh, that's a... I didn't even notice that. That pipe looked like background, actually. Oh. Uh, that's alright. Oh, <laughs> you're gonna die. Oh! Shit creatures coming out of the ground just wanna <laughs> eat me. Jesus. Oh, that was not smart. So, um, I've seen it also in the trailer, there's like places like, uh, trains and whatnot. Um, you, were you, uh, were there, like, any specific games you took some of the locales from that, uh, or that made you think of some of these locales? Train Simulator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Euro Truck Simulator was a big inspiration. Oh, okay. Before it even uh. came out! That's, uh, that's amazing! <laughs> 
<laughs> it was yeah, in was with behind the scenes. Uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> uh the locations maybe not, but like the bosses for sure. Mm -hmm. Like like uh Gradius. I, I took a couple of the bosses are heavily inspired from uh yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I like how it started out with like yeah, you know, actually there's some you know what no, no, I don't know. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess, I'm kind of to design the bosses to like fit the the mechanics of the game, right? Mm -hmm. They'd have lots of bullets going around. And you have to slow mo. So, not many other. Oh, oh, are you gonna get hit? Oh uh, yeah, so, definitely. Okay. <laughs> okay. I yeah, keep so forgetting I'm... that I even have a rocket launcher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the rocket launcher is more like situational, right? Yeah, it's. it's not quite I always I always go straight to the. Oh jeez, that was just corner rave right there. <laughs> Did you miss every single rocket? Yes. Like you did. Yes and yes and yes. Uh, what about the names of these creatures? Uh... <laughs> Actually, <laughs> these guys are called Gibby and Stu, which is the name of two male friends of mine. Mm -hmm. And they were not like very happy about being labeled as Red Hot Lovers in the subtitle. <laughs> <laughs> but they were pretty good sports about it. Most most of the bosses. Like the third level boss is a reference to like another game I made, and the first boss is like that the guppy from that game that I made with my friend. Mm -hmm. They're mostly like inside jokes, okay. I guess. Yeah, that nobody but me will get. So how long did it take for you to code this game? You you did it all on your own, right? Uh, yes, I did. It it took three years or so. It was like a really long time. Mostly, mostly because, half because I was kind of like learning mm -hmm. as I went. I'd only made a, a small handful of games before this one, and the second half was that I kind of like restarted it at least twice. Yeah, I saw where you had like some of the alternate screens and stuff on you. You said it was, um, it was darker or something, I believe is what it said? Yeah, it was like really over dramatic. It was like a warrior uh, taking his last breaths and like descending into the depths of hell, and he had to fight his way out to save his soul. And it was really like over dramatic <laughs> and boring and stuff. So I, I just so so through, uh, current uh, DMC now. We were going out <laughs> some. <laughs> oh god, have you actually played that? Uh, the I new have. one. I you haven't. I read a bunch of reviews and uh -huh. they said that the bosses weren't very good. And then I looked at a bunch of YouTube videos. The bosses didn't look very good, so I just kind of thought. Have you played it? Uh, yeah, I played some of it actually. It's uh, it's a decent game. It stays very true to the uh, Devil May Cry nature, except okay. for uh, you know the canon of it. Right. Because it just it's, changes that completely. It's like a complete reboot, right? Yeah, and it's 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 super emo a go go. <laughs> Zuka is not enjoying this at all. He's not dying or <laughs> getting angry. I... I'm... Sh ah. <laughs> okay.